Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, um, yeah, the map, for some reason, today, once again, did not load properly. I have no idea why. I might be having problems with the internet here. Um, both my kids are on. My wife's watching TV shows downstairs. I mean, we got we got a lot of data running through this house. So, it's not really like I care all that much. But, um, we are going to go and take a uh, priority mission here. It's on Lana Conning. It's the Five Skull Planet. We're gonna, just going to jump over there um, and pull a couple missions off today. This one's against Clan Jade Falcon, three and a half skulls. Uh, I think it's probably relatively easy enough for this, us to do that. And we're going to go full salvage because look at that salvage, man. 625, you kidding me? Can't not take that. Plus, we got lots of sea bills. So let's accept this mission. All right. So what we want to try and get done today um, <clears throat> is... I'm going to have a look at the, uh, we don't, I, I mean, I had a look at the Blood Asp. Um, I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Thank you. Let's double check the base just to make sure we don't have any more repairs. Oh, yeah, we need to repair the Marauder. So let's have a look at that. Um, actually, you know what, let's go back for a second. Um, yeah, we can repair this. Well, I don't know. That XL engine is going to cost a lot. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's go back for a second. I'm going to pull the um, Flame Hawk out of service for now. we got lots of mechs here. I don't think we really need it up in here anymore. Um, even, I mean, the Griffin and Wolverine could probably come out at some point. Um, but let's pull, the, let's pull this Shadow Hawk out for now. We can always run the uh, Grasshopper whenever we need a Flamethrower mech. Uh, I don't think we need two of them, so let's pull this out of service. Okay, so that's going to lower our costs here a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Um, uh, let's go into the bays. Let's go to the Marauder here again. Um, I don't think we're going to have the sea bills because we're going to go through a financial report. But we're going to do... Um, some stuff. I wonder if we. I'm wondering if we need to, because um, we lost the core. We, like this is going to be a huge, huge amount of uh, repairing. I wonder if we pull stuff out of here, like the Nova CEWS, the weapon mount, uh, TTS weapons, enhanced imaging, the tracking system, improved fire control system, the double heat sinks. Feral Lamellar, I think, can stay. Do we have some in here already? We do, okay. I'm just thinking that we can use these things in the Blood Asp, and we'll get that up and running first, because we don't have to worry about putting an engine in it. And these are all things we can start using in the Blood Asp. Because um, this is just going to take a lot of time to repair, and we're better off using this stuff elsewhere for now. Um... Yeah, so let's just confirm that. We'll let it sit for now. Right. Job's done. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, you're. I wonder if I should take this completely out of service then. No. Well, how much is it costing us? Ah, uh, where are you here, Marauder? Sixty-nine, seventy thousand. That's really peanuts. We'll leave it up. Okay, so the Blood Asp. You know what? I, I did have a look because I, I mean we, there was some good suggestions for loadouts like uh, um, triple ultra auto cannon five or quadruple ultra auto cannon five loadout, um, which I think is actually kind of cool idea. But what we don't really have is ultra auto cannon fives. <laughs> So, I mean, we could go with a rack build on it, but I think we were saving the rack for the Marauder. Um, it, I think it needs to be a ballistic plus something, whether it's going to be ballistic plus laser, ballistic plus missile build. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, Fist of Dorn has been, you know, he was saying that a couple of um, um, heavy, uh, um, large heavy lasers on each arm. The 90 damage ones, and then maybe four ultra auto cannon fives with ammo. 
that's a good possibility. Um, we just need the gear to do it. So in the meantime, and I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but because it's an Omnimac and I don't really need to change the internal components a whole lot, I want to find another build that we can be happy with. Uh, it's got half decent speed, so it, I mean, it's an assault mech, but it should be able to keep up with our heavy lance without a problem. Um, so I want to find another build that I can run temporarily, and I think it's going to be ballistic slash missile build. Um, he did mention keeping the blood asp like uh, as a good hard hitting pinpoint damage um, accuracy mech and run the archer as a missile mech, which I think is a great idea. Um, but I think the the combination of long range ballistics and uh, the super lightweight of the LRMs might work in it as an advantage to this mech because um, just because one number one heat management heat management we can load a fair bit on relatively keep our good heat management but number two it's a lot of stability damage uh, so pretty much most mechs that we target we can get them to a point where we can knock them down right away um, I don't know I'm not really 100% sold on the idea yet but let's leave it let's go into the let's just keep going forward uh, go into the mission at Conning, see what we can get out of this uh, we'll try and port prioritize like ultra auto cannon fives if we can get some um, I think we've got lots of lots of ultra auto cannon five ammo uh, but we'll also keep our eyes open for um, uh, large improved heavy lasers uh, yeah, get that ex exercise regimen going. Uh, she's wounded for a, for one injury, which is going to be like, what, 12 days? 15 days. Well, it looks like you're out this mission, girl. Not so hot now, are you? Well, maybe now. We can wait. Well, let's not go yet. I think I want to bring that flamer mech. Which means we have to have her in act. Well, I guess we don't. I guess I can bring somebody else. Just concerned for the end of the month. I mean, we should be okay, but... Um, yeah. What other kind of contracts are going on here? Anything? Oh, we've got another priority here. Oh, this is the one we're taking, though, I think. Is it not? Looks like we've got a lot we can do here. So we're good. So let's just take the mission right away. Let's just go. Launch the contract for me, please. I really need to get that second lance happening too. Kind of frustrated that we're mostly going with the main lance on these. Um, let's bring... Let's bring D.Va. She needs experience. Uh, and it'll be good for her. And let's deploy. Okay, here we go. Look out for reinforcements, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I thought you were gonna say stay frosty. Ah, uh, reinforcements usually come from behind or up here, I think. So I think let's not get suckered into a straight out battle. It's Jade Falcon. They're going to have long range weapons. Receiving you. Um, although I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Oh, we're not going to do that. Uh, let's go this way. Let's just target this. Let's warm up a little bit. We're going to need to do that for sure. We won't have our TSM on yet. Nope. Not yet. I'm hearing vehicles. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Okay, Diva, get your ass asteroid up here. Full speed. No target. Not yet. We will have some target here in a minute. Uh, we're going to reserve. Advantage. Hearing a lot of vehicles. Waiting for orders. How impatient do I want to be? Do 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 do. Um. 
Um is not a word. My mom used to say. Let's get over here. Sensors have something. All right, we're looking at vehicles. So a joust, 50-ton tank destroyer. All right, we're gonna get in this. Let's get in this battle. Let's get in this battle. Um, let's mass this up. Down, down, down. This is a six million dollar girl. Roger, full speed. Where's your target right there? Let's get some ask ax good on this guy. Thank you. And a tag, nice. Another vehicle. It's got a lock on me. You got backup coming in a second, girl. Just relax. Just relax. We needed eyes on anyway. For Destructor. Come on, Destructor wants to go. Yeah, I don't know. I think the vehicles make this really slow. Their decisions to where to, where to move. I know it makes the game better. I gotta say the AI is actually pretty good overall compared to what it was earlier on with Rogue Tech. Um, and even in Battletech. The, I mean the AI still makes some stupid decisions. I think a lot of the you know, the clan mechs meleeing is a big... I've said this so many times. It needs to stop. Um, but other than that I think the AI plays the game rather smart. And even like if you, if you think that those clan mechs that do melee um, if they were inner sphere mechs and had better damage on them, um, they may have um, done a lot more, way more damage. It may have been a better choice, but you know, I've got eyes on hostile guns. reinforcements. They're heading your way. It's all vehicles. Well, at least you know we're looking for weapons. So I mean, here we go. We haven't even killed one vehicle yet. For Christ's sake. Kill this guy, please, and thank you. Thank you. I'm really liking the loadout in this cataphract. I think the uh, the the combination of the ultras or the ultra auto cannon and the uh, dual PPC loadout is actually quite good. Joe's, what's this guy again? Epona. I wonder if we can kill this guy. Let's warlord it. See if we can get this guy down. And firing. Ah, some good damage. Commander. Who do we want to kill? Um, Royal Zephyr. Start on this side. Let's go from the. F yeah, this is still the front. We're gonna go from the front. Um, hopefully, we we manage to keep the engine on this guy once he dies. And oh yes, he will die. Destructor. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what it was? You know you guys know what it was, right? It's me saying, oh my god, he's you know he's gonna die for sure. And he will die. Uh-huh. Just gotta keep my mouth shut. Let's remove that guy. Okay, I mean you take the mask off of the uh, grasshopper. I can't believe, I can't believe we missed it. <laughs> oh, Got to keep my mouth shut. I totally can believe we missed it. What am I talking about? Axel 2CXL. Which means it's probably got a lot of weaponry. I think this is a 60 tonner, I think. Epona. Eponas are what, 50 or 60 tons or something? Could be, I don't know, maybe it's 40. I can't remember. You know, I used to remember all the stats for everything. 
what the loadouts were when we were playing the tabletop version. I remember, I used to remember everything. Now it's like, I know the names and kind of the shape and the loadout, but I, I don't know any of the variants. Most of the vehicles I don't even know. It's like I've forgotten almost everything. Hey, I think we can play Stompy Stompy Robots with that guy. We may have to leave the mask on to do that, though. I don't want to do that. 25% is a high chance of failure for me. Even 10% is high chance of failure for me. Ultimately, you, you want like 1 or 2%, as Megasaur can attest. And even 1 or 2% is not going to guarantee you, <laughs> guarantee you any kind of success. Well, at least they got the tag on her. Deciding where to go. You're still gonna get stomped on. There's nowhere you can go. Oh, you just decided to hang out there. That's fine. All right, let's get uh, this mask off. It's at 25% now. But we still got... Wow, really? We can't... We would have got that with the mask. This without the mask. Let's attack. It's one of the reasons why I want to leave in the uh, melee gear with this mech. It's really only using five tons. Ooh, it looked like you just peed on him. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Um, I, I want to leave the um, the melee gear. It's only five tons. The two talons, like the talons and the arms, are two tons each, and then the one leg uh, modifier is one ton. But um, I want to be able to on those missions where there's like n very little or no max, or we're going up against a a, a convoy. She still got, you know, a significant amount of damage power to her. And if we need, if like, because we're going to be supporting Megasaur with most of the actions, um, having that secondary melee mech when we need to take something out um, is way is way better than the unpredictability sometimes of the flamers. What's up, boss? Um. You might as well stay as a mobile turret. There's no point in going anywhere. Uh, we should have moved closer, maybe. Oh, yeah. Wow. Thanks for coming out. That's a miss. Y you think? Yes, Commander. Let's just finish this guy up, please. 99% chance. You see that, guys, right? 99? There we go. Take that. Reporting one left vehicle. All right. Um, so my youngest today was on their first day of a TV shoot as an actor. They did pretty well overall, which is excellent. Didn't get a chance to see them. My wife went, but excited to work. But still, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've been on sets like. Lots of times, because we shoot stuff, our production company shoots stuff, so I've been on sets lots of times, so I'm kind of used to being there and know what it's like, but they've never really been to an official set before, so it's kind of cool. They get to see the side of things that I normally don't see in the acting side of things. It's kind of cool. All right. What's up, boss? I don't know. Do you think you want to barbecue some of these guys? What if we um? Nah. Let's get over here. On the move. Full speed. I was thinking about trying to do a stompy stompy robot thing, but um, it will put her in the line of fire of everybody, so I'd rather not have that. All right. A little bit of damage. No eyes on yet. <sighs> hopefully, I mean, 625, man. We should hopefully get we get some good gear out of this. But I think we take that other pride and vanity right afterwards. Just for the salvage.
Ultra twos, most likely. I thought I think we have uh, we we have like a couple of Ultra twos. I think we got a Rack two as well. But and I thought about using them, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think we should move forward. Yeah, let's get these guys in a better range here. Let's just focus on this guy. Nicely done. Oh, nicely hit, anyway. Yeah, that Goss rifle. I don't know. A little bit underwhelming. It's got the range to it. I thought about replacing with an Ultra 10 or even an Ultra 20 maybe. But I don't think the Thunderbolt is the right mech to be up close. I think it still needs to be a distant distance mech. That's why originally I thought maybe switching out the uh, Goss with the rack might be a way to go. Well now that the Marauder's down maybe we do that. We can do that. Um, yeah, man. Okay. These vehicles are relatively fast. Either that or we're really slow. I think it's a bit of both. At least the fire does damage to vehicles now. I think it does like 30 points damage. And I don't know if it gets spread out like in five points in random areas or if it's all in one location, but I know it does do damage. I've seen the numbers. Ow. That's not very nice. Alright, figure out where you're going. Nowhere, huh? Okay, Vigilance first. Do we still have our Supercharger on? Yeah, we better turn that thing off. Turn it on next turn. Let's get in the trees. Shoot this guy no with everything. Firing. Ooh, a couple of hits. Good to go. Are ya? Are ya? Um, yeah, we got enough for that. Thank you. Now, Vigilance both Megasaur and her. You're peeing on that guy again. Uh, Vigilance, Vigilance both Megasaur and her because I want her to. They're both within range now. I want them to, to see if we can get a second stomp in next turn early on. We'll have to find out. They got this guy left. The pike. Opponents are 50 tons. Okay, I thought I thought they were around 50 or 60. Tank destroyer 50 tons. Okay. Man, I was looking I was looking and praying for another meltdown like that. <laughs> Like that one uh, meltdown from the uh, gorilla, and that I can't even remember what, how many episodes ago that was. We haven't got it yet. I think I'll be able to go to my grave happy if we can get one more of those. It was just watching that thing melt into a puddle. It's just like, it's one of the things I've been mentioning for the longest time. It'd be hilarious to see. Ah, crap! Really? Stop shooting the head. That could be bad depending on how many how much damage it was. Okay, Megasaur. Um, oops, control move, supercharger on. Now is it it's at zero again. Okay, good. And let's play some stompy robots. Only got one guy in range. We'll take it. On the move. We will take it. Gaging. We're on fire too, man. Nothing scarier than a flaming black knight coming to step on you. Vehicle down. Yes, Commander. He is destructor. Okay, who's taking damage here? The opponent's taking a little bit. The pike's taking a bit more. 
This guy's got Ultra 2s. 88. Less chance to hit this guy. He's got an ERPPC. Let's go after the Ultra 2s. This seems to be doing the most damage. So let's fire. Okay. I wonder if those medium pulses are holding us back too. Can you stompy robot these guys? Get the mask on. We can. Let's stompy robot this guy. 97%. Nice. Alright, she went relatively fast, too. Which is good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's get a little closer. With air and extra dry. Let's hammer this guy. There it is, folks. No! Oh! I spoke too soon. I thought for sure I saw that orange. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna die. Nope. Just gotta get that last little death throw in there. Uh, hit, Commander. Death throw Sinestro. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, bring it forward. Why not? Standing by. It's all yours, girl. Let's finish him up. Really? Solid connection on that one. Ready for orders. Don't want to destroy too many things. Oof. Let's tell it back to two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All you have to do is hit the front. No, this is not fair. It's just not fair. Um... That should do it. Thank you. Ah, we lost the core. No big deal. Mission successful. All right, 241,000. That should cover repairs quite nicely. Grasshopper, four kills. Nice. Ah, she came out on top, too. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, we need GAC. We need lots of GAC. How many ERPPC clans do we have? We got three. Don't need any of that stuff at the top. LB20. What do we got? LRMs, crap medium lasers, SRM6 streak. There's a bunch of Ultra 2s, an Ultra 20 clan. Remember, I said we'd be getting one of those in the future. There we go. Um, how much do these things weigh? Five tons. I don't know. 50 damage for five tons. It's not. Plus ammo. Well, it's only one ton of ammo per. So six tons for 50 damage. I don't know. No heat, though. That's the one thing. We'll take this for sea bills. Now that we're back home, we can actually use that. Fire control system ballistic. We've got two of those. We don't need them. Guardian ECMs. We've got one. Uh, what else do we got down here? AMS ammo. LBX ammo. LRM. Ultra 20. How much Ultra 20 ammo do we have, too? I hate to have to fill this up with this, but... Oh, double. Can't forget the double. People would be slapping my wrists if I forgot that. Um, ECM, maybe? 325 core. I don't know. Ultra 2s. Maybe we grab the other ERPPC. I mean, we don't have any large, um, like, improved heavy uh, lasers, but we could run ERPPCs. It's about the same heat, same damage, same weight. Well, damage is, like, less, but at range it's the same, and it's got a 750 meter range, so let's drop that in. I think this is okay. So now we'll have two Ultra 20s. Okay, ER large laser. Oh god, we've got all the light machine guns. You know, in I got 21 of these. In the other series, we got like 36 or 40 or something. I should just sell them, but I'm still thinking. I'm still convinced at some point I might do a ballistic build with a mech with all these light machine guns. But honestly, like really, the damage is too like. 
I don't know. You'd need one of those. Oh, we got we got an ultra too. You need one of those uh, clan. Um, we got some more ultra ammo too. You need one of those uh, clan machine gun uh, fire control systems that increases the damage by one to make those really viable. But anyway, all right, sixty-five thousand. It's nothing. You know, we could run a pair of ultra twenties on the blood asp. It's got okay speed. Put a mask in it. Get it into battle a little quicker. That's a possibility. Fill it with a bunch of short range weapons. Mm, maybe. Grasshopper 10 days, eh? Let's manage those tasks. Get that up to the top. Doesn't really matter. Everything else is back in three. Hot Dam will be back. Um, yeah, we'll be back in battle before the end of the financial report. Let's do that. Um, okay, let's just get here to the end. We'll take one more mission today. Um, we stay on our ground and fight. We don't talk. Hey, Divas gain high experience. Nice. Night witches don't run from a fight. Well, unless, unless we know we're going to die, then we'll run. That's the only time, though, right? All right, let's see if there's anything in the mech bay we got to fix. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I think we're good. All right, so... Um, Let's just check the pilots here real quick. Uh, I did that last episode too, Commander? but all right, she's almost got enough for gunnery. Yes, Commander. Um, I was thinking too the other day that I might want to try and do a uh, for one of my next series. I might try not allowing um, to go up the gunnery tree here, so um, multi-target and warlord are, are off the table. And it would just have to be any of these three down here. So most likely it'll be piloting and tactics, or if I've got melee mechs, it'll be guts. But I don't know. We'll see. Have to see how it goes. Okay, Satori. This is bonus initiative. I think we were weren't we waiting for gunnery on her? That's health. Let's just leave her for now. Sheet metal still working on stuff. What? No. What? No. I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? All right, we're good to go, I think. All right, contracts. Let's have a look here. Yeah, our Pride of Vanity was the one that we were going to be taking. That's why it showed up there. Forward Observers, Brilliant Minds. Four Skull, I think, is probably where we want to go. Protect the Max is a little long. It's not bad taking that in the, as the first mission, but... Um, see, this is a Four Skull. Hillary and Palantate. Nah. Ghost Bearer. Sabotaging research stations, eh? Recovery mission? Four skull against Ghost Bear? Yeah, let's go this route. We can do that. Let's get some gear, guys. Let's go get some gear. Got enough for the financial report, so we'll bring Diva out. Even though she's got her uh, um, spirits up, we're still going to bring uh, Hot Dam in because she is part of this lead. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Locate the scientist, retrieve her, and get out. Well, don't even show us where our extraction point is. Might as well just be right on the base. Uh, let's get into here. I want to cover some ground here. Uh, it's been a while since I played on this map, I think. I don't even recognize it. Don't even recognize it. All right. I'm here. Um, let's not go too far until we know what we're up let's against go. here. Ready Megasaur, Megasaur. So I want to apologize to those people who are watching my invasion series, my Minecraft invasion series. Um, I haven't recorded a few episodes in a while. Uh, it's only due to lack of time. Um, I've been trying um, to not record them uh, during the week and the evenings just because I do need to record two of these episodes. Um, and it's really pushing me for time. Okay. 
Sun Spider, okay. Um, it really pushes me for time, so... Um, this should give me enough uh, evasion, I think. Yeah. Mirix, okay. Joust, Tank Destroy SM3. Um, it, yeah, like I said, it really pushes me for time, so... Uh, and I don't want to just go half-assed at the episodes and make them shorter and like I'd have to, it, everything would sacrifice across the board and I don't want to sacrifice my Battletech series because I really enjoy playing these. Ooh. Well, hello there. Let's stay in the trees though because these are the clans. Most likely they're going to be able to see us so um, they're giving us an opportunity to put some damage down early so let's take it. Okay, tag on. I need you to follow um, Megasaur into battle, but get right behind her. Copy that, Commander. Thank you. Waiting for orders. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, you know, it's it's one of those things where I don't want to I don't want to jeopardize the quality of these videos. So, but I will be recording. I haven't finished the series yet. Probably got another five episodes or so. I might do more. I don't know, but. Um, Fuck, he's not moving. Just shoot him again. Um, this guy's got to be 100 tons. Um, I will be finishing the series, though, because I'm really enjoying playing that. I haven't played in such a long time. What do you think, guys? Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the movement on this thing. What's up, Sun Spider? Ooh, we're running hot. Confirmed. It's because we're hot stuff. You know who's even hotter, hotter stuff? She's coming up here in a second. Look at the evasion on this thing. That's like eight. Um, yeah, anyway, so I will be finishing off the invasion series. Um, what I've been doing is I've been recording two of these episodes, edit them, export them, and while they're exporting, I've been playing like, um, like a like a half an hour of just a regular invasion, uh, or invasion, sorry, um, not series at all, just a regular game, uh, because it's laggy if I if I try to play with, uh, if I'm playing while I'm ex exporting, it can get laggy. So I haven't been recording the episode because of that, just because of the lag. Let's get down here. Uh, but I have been playing in the background. I, I, I forgot how fun that uh, Minecraft pack was. Just because you gotta stay on your toes the whole time. Mobs can overrun you so quickly. They move really slow, but there's those times when there's just so many of them, so damn many of those things, um, that you just get overrun. Uh, I don't think I want to mask this. I think we're just going to move to here. Um, yeah, we might as well hit it with flamers, because if anything, it's going to help Megasaur out. Let's put acid on the vehicle, though. Confirmed. One hit, huh? Ah, oh, you didn't even get Megasaur's hex on fire. Come on. Got to keep her nice and toasty. That Mirix should, could, should be going down very shortly. I bet you these are like, half of these are ER PPCs, I bet. We should probably go for a torso kill. I mean, we could try to leg it. It's a possibility, I guess. My only concern is if it sees us, we're in trouble, right? So, hopefully it doesn't see us. Been trying to give a Megasaur as a target. Oh, thank you for making me toasty over there. Appreciate it. Commander. Can we see that guy now? We can still see the Sun Spider. Uh, but you need to move because if he can see you, you got to have some evasion. Let's get over here. Um, what are we looking at for targeting? Not bad. We're just going to fire straight out, though. I'd rather make sure we hit for damage. This 
So, hmm, hot damn goes next, eh? I thought that was coming from the air. I swear to God, I forgot about the vehicle and I thought it was coming from the air. I'm like, did we just get attacked by a fighter or something? What the hell is that? Nope, he's standing behind our ass. That's what it is. He's shooting us in the butt. You better run. Oh, you wouldn't survive. I was considering bringing her right in here and just trying to toast one of these guys, but you won't survive that. My God, that mech just gave us gave us the kill. You just you just gave us a kill. I don't even know what you're doing, buddy. We'll take the heat because if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Flaming. <laughs> Flaming Megasaur! See ya! Ooh, yeah, don't even show us that. Why is it just a Black Knight? You can't see the melee on. It's doing it because it's just, it's just being evil. That's all it is. Okay, what do we got to hit with this guy? We're just gonna shoot. Hope for some leg hits here. Okay, we penned. Let's get over here. Keep flanking these guys. That's all PPCs. No, I was right. It was three. I think it probably a couple of improved mediums. Improved medium lasers. Can't tell. But can you say barbecue? I think you can. I think you can. So we're going to pull this guy apart. We'll let Megasaur finish up the vehicles. It's kind of a weird position to move into, too, for that guy, because he's basically exposing his back to our long-range mechs. I wonder what the ac I mean, we've got the Gauss fire control system in, which is why our Gauss rifle's got such good accuracy. But I wonder what our accuracy will... if it'll tank Commander? if we... Um, I think you need to use your mask. Uh, I, I wonder if it'll tank if we... Um, Switch to a rotary or something. Let's shut this guy down. Ah, do we want to target? How hot is this guy? He's pretty warm already. Let's take the acid off and go with Inferno. Let's see what our OP would look like. That's not bad. I'm not hating it. We destroyed his mask. It's not a shutdown, though. He's got a lot of friggin'. Heat sinking that guy. Can we get on him? Only about we can get a side shot. Let's get in here. Shut him down. Shut him, shut him down. There's the leg gone. Ah, we got the torso too. Ah, that's fine. You take this guy. Ah, uh, that's the back. That's the front. Um, that'll give that guy a shot on us. Let's go from over here. I'm gonna leave the plasma lance off because we're like gonna be going through the fire. Don't want to overheat and shut down. Oh, we missed the fire altogether. Because I wasn't watching again. That's why. Because I wasn't watching. Uh, good chances to hit. Let's fire. And just move it forward. We're coming for you. Hot damn, should be able to squash this guy probably. I wonder if we're going to get reinforcements. I'm thinking not, but we'll see. We'll move our, we'll move our, bleh, we'll move our two um, long range guys into the trees. Megasaur and... Um, Hot damn, can move up into the the, uh, the hex up here. Once this vehicle decides what he wants to do. I know I complain about the speed, but really it's calculating the best attack. 
so I shouldn't complain. Oh, he's not calculating any attack, apparently. He's given up. He's like, nah, fuck this, we're done. We lost. Why, we, why even bother? Why even bother? We lost. I'll have the mask on, too. Shouldn't do that. Fingers crossed. Okay, we survived that. Alright. Let's get up here. In the trees. Put these girls in the trees. Let's turn this mask off. Now, I don't even... Did we turn off our supercharger? We better have. Oops, we only need two. Look at that, nice. I think we did. Maybe. I can't remember. Thought we did. Let's get up here. I want to be down there in the trees. Ah, there it is. Alright. Well, not too bad. Alright, 52,000. Won't cover repairs, I don't think, but we'll see. I probably should. I don't think we took that much. Uh, Murex, man, we should just take the Murex parts. I know we should. But we're here for gear, too, so let's have a look what we got. Uh, medium heavy lasers. Yeah, we've got a bunch of these, right? Five. Ultra 10. Okay, we got two of those. We don't need any of those. Clan Endo. Two. Got six of these. Oh, that's right. We've been picking them up. That's going to make us rich. Ooh, yeah, because you know what? we got to fix the Marauder. We'll have the sea bills for that now. We can sell five of these, keep one, and put one in the Marauder. Five of them is almost five million. Uh, enhanced imaging, we got three now, so we don't need any of those. Improved fire control system, we have one. I like these. Um, they're not as good as the... Um, the other clan fire control system, but they only weigh one ton, take up one slot, which allows you to use the enhanced imaging. And this also allows you to use the uh, clan TTSs, which is why I like these over the other ones. Um, clan heat. Oh man, that's so nice. Uh, and here's a oh, weapon mount. Okay. See here, the clan TTS weapons requires a clan cockpit. So if we're going to run, um, we leave the heat bank behind. We've already got two of these, right? We got four of these. Holy crap. So we don't need this. 20% to all range brackets. See, if we put this in, it's accuracy with range weapons, not energy. It's all range weapons, right? So we put the fire control system in. We don't even need the well, I guess we could. The improved fire control system with the TTS weapons in the blood asp, we gain a 20% increase in range for the ultra 20s. Which would help out, because I think the, the range of those is like 360 or 330 or something. And 20% will add, an, like, put us over, like, around 400 or just over 400 meters. Which is actually pretty good. Giving us bonus to hit. We use the, um, what's it called? Um, the enhanced imaging to give us recoil reduction and accuracy. We'll put the weapon mounts in the arm to reduce recoil. That's a viable option. Yeah, so let's go with these. I think this is probably a good uh, good selection here. Now we got a, we got a few of these now. We got four now we can use. Okay, and we did, we picked up four Mirix parts. Oh, they're only 70 tons. Why did I think it was 100? I don't know. Maybe because it had so much armor over some of the other mechs we fought. Ultra 10... Uh, double gauss ammo, that's kind of nice. More light machine guns, because, you know, you can never have enough light machine guns. We've only got, what, 28 now? Got to have those. All right, oh, that's like nothing in repairs. That's awesome. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the episode here, because I still have to record um, the uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. But I think we did pretty well today. I think next episode we'll outfit the... Um, the blood asp so you know comments about uh the ultra 20 idea would be appreciated if you've got any thoughts on that 
It might be a viable loadout. If I don't hear any negativity towards it, I'll probably try that because just simply because we don't really have much. It's either going to be a rack loadout, which I think I want to try the rack loadout on the um, on the um, Thunderbolt. Use it as a long range fire support, which is rack. And the 90 tonner can go in and brawl and be a target with the Black Knight. Um, just That's just a thought. But before we go, um, so I was thinking today, you know, we were everyone's pushing for having more than four mechs at a time and things like that. And I was thinking one of the ways they could handle this, and this is for all, the, all your mod developers out there, um, if they somehow incorporate being able to launch more than four mechs at a time, uh, what might be nice is each of these slots could be one lance of mechs, right? So for the inner sphere mechs, you would have four mech slots, two vehicle slots. So you could launch your lance, but for the inner sphere uh, players, you would launch with four mechs and two vehicles, right? You can leave them off if you want, but it gives you the option to bring two vehicles along. So now you've got, you know, your scout... Would be, which would be nice, having a scout vehicle and stuff. They would probably get destroyed a lot. But but make it so that the vehicles can't be recovered as salvage. So if they get squashed or whatever, like there is no recovery if they get destroyed. Uh, so it gives you the incentive to try and keep them alive because you don't want to always have to go and buy new vehicles or get new vehicles somehow. So it gives you incentive to keep them alive so they're just not throwaways. Um, so Inner Sphere would be, would be, you know, four mechs and um, two vehicles. And then for the clans, it can be four mechs and two elemental clusters, or five mechs. So you'd have a cluster, like a, a, a star of mechs, right? Or you'd have um, f a, a, a reduced star, so four mechs and two elemental uh, units. That would, I think, be kind of cool. So just throwing that out there. Uh, I don't know. I don't I mean. I don't know if they'll be gonna ever allow us to have more than four mechs at a time on the ground. Or four units to control but if they ever do that's just a thought for any mod developers that's what i would do i'd have two vehicles here for the inner sphere to support the lance and have the option for any clan units to run five mechs or four mechs and two elemental pods um but yeah just a thought uh anyway we're going to end the episode here um if you'd like to drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe also once again I, as i said drop any comments on the blood asp on the Ultra 20 loadout. I think that's the route I want to try. Um, drop a clan mask system in it, give it some speed, get the Ultra 20s in close. Um, most likely it's going to have to be Baba Yaga piloting that thing. Um, and I think, you know, if we pull out the um, Thunderbolt from this lineup and go with the Cataphract, the Blood Asp, and then a third mech, whether it's the uh, Grasshopper or the Thunderbolt, and then Megasaur in the end. I think that's probably the way to go. We're going to have to get the Archer loaded out with um, uh, some LRMs, I think. Um, it's probably going to be better than the Catapult overall, I think. Although there are torso launchers, so accuracy is going to be an issue. It's going to be one of those things where we have to put in the uh, the Artemis system, I think, to make it, make it totally viable. But we'll see how it goes. All right. So, yeah. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.